So yeah, we've got a bit of a problem. Before we start, I wanna give you my unfiltered thoughts about the game. That was pathetic. That might be one of the most stupid I've ever seen in my life. I can't even begin to process how terrible and embarrassing of a performance that was. This was pathetic. It was embarrassing. It was one of the worst performances I've seen in my life. I couldn't sleep last night because I felt this. Now let's get serious. What a terrible performance from our offense. I mean, good grief. That was awful. I had a lot of confidence that the Falcons would win, and I don't even think that confidence was misplaced. I knew beating the Steelers wasn't going to be easy, uh, but I stand by that we had the tools to do so. Looking at it objectively, our defense allowed zero touchdowns. 18 points all on field goals, and that's not bad at all. All our offense had to do was produce three touchdowns, and with the talent we have on our roster, that shouldn't have been a problem. But it was, it was a huge problem. The first drive was really solid. We drove downfield, we moved the ball well, we kicked a field goal. Everybody got a little bit of action, and Ray Ray McLeod, of all people, played incredibly. And after that Kyle Pitts touchdown, I had a lot of hope that we were going to start finding our rhythm. But that couldn't have been further from the truth. For the rest of the game, Kirk Cousins looked incredibly uncomfortable in the pocket, Drake London disappeared, and it seemed like Bijan Robinson got 4,000 carries and our offensive line couldn't stop TJ Watt to save Kirk's life. Our defense, on the other hand, proved to be legit. I was very happy with how our defense performed. Grady Jarrett and Matthew Judon is an insane combo. I didn't love AJ Terrell's performance and felt he struggled with George Pickens a lot, but that hardly matters in the grand scheme of things. I'm very glad Arthur Smith at least can't say he got any touchdowns on us, but that makes for a bigger problem for our offense. Zero touchdowns scored against us and we lose? Huh? For starters, I didn't love our play calling really at all. It is miles better than what Smith was calling for us last year, but it seemed to really lack dynamics altogether. And I truthfully feel a little lied to. The second half of the game, it seemed we neglected our best playmakers altogether. Where was Drake London? Where was Pitts after the touchdown? Why did we only give the ball to Bijan? Why not a little bit of a balance with Algier too? I don't know, it just seemed lackadaisical and low energy. But most of all, Cousins was so unimpressive. He really did look scared. And it's especially embarrassing because I've been mercilessly defending him since we signed him. He has a history of being an above average quarterback, but this past Sunday he played just plain bad. Now, in his defense, he had almost no time in the pocket, but even when he did, he made bad throws and stupid decisions. Two interceptions and the home opener for a player we're paying $180 million is simply unacceptable. But let's not freak out just yet. I'm right there with most of you. After having subpar QB play for about four years now, Kirk coming in and playing like that in his first game makes me want to commit several crimes. And for legal purposes, I am just joking. But it is week one. And while it's easy to assume the rest of the season will be like this, I can guarantee you it won't be. But we have to make some adjustments. Number one, Kirk Cousins has to play better. Just simply, he just has to play better. I don't know if he's just not playing confident or if he's hurt or afraid of getting hurt, but either way, he has to step it up. And we won't win much if he plays this way all season. I believe he's capable, he's proven he's capable, but something has to change and change quickly. Number two, Zach Robinson has to get the ball downfield and in the hands of London, Pitts, and McLeod. I love how much we used Bijan, but he can't turn into this workhorse. He's going to get injured. I don't know what was going on with Zach Robinson's play calling, but it really wasn't great. And number three, we desperately need some intensity on the offensive side of the ball. It just felt dead the entire game. And after Arthur Smith put us through hell for three years, I need Raheem Morris to figure something out. Even he seemed out of it. He just seemed bored. So overall, yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong about a lot, I'll admit that. The Steelers got the job done and played well. Fields to Pickens was lethal. TJ Watt is insane. Mike Tomlin is genuinely just a good coach. And I'll say to all of the Pittsburgh Steelers that come in my comments, I was wrong. I was wrong, and you were right. But I don't think my hope was misplaced, and the hope is still there, sort of. We can turn it around, keyword can, but I'm worried, I'm very worried. I can't get over how terrible of a performance that was. At home, week one, after all of the offseason changes we made. Losing is one thing, the Steelers are a good football team, but losing the way we lost is even worse. And now we go into potentially the hardest three game stretch of the season. We need a quick turnaround if we wanna compete in the NFC, shoot, even if we wanna compete in the NFC South. I haven't decided if the Saints are really good or the Panthers are really bad, but it's probably somewhere in between. So 
please, don't give up hope quite yet. Everything I said beforehand, forget about that. We clearly have no clue what kind of Falcons team we're dealing with. And until we find out, be ready to scream at your TV for a few more weeks. If you're still tuning in, please be sure to like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment about what you think the Falcons need to change to find success. And tune in later this week for an in-depth look into the Falcons' Week 2 matchup against the Eagles.